Is that big, ugly one shooting laser beams into the crib? That's Optimus Prime. Yeah. And I don't think he'd appreciate you calling him the big, ugly one. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Not Optimus. Secondly, if Junior gets scared, he can always climb into bed with us. That's what I did with my mom. What do you mean, did? J.D., last Christmas, I walked in on Turk and his mom cuddling together in bed. Turk gets defensive when it comes to his mother. I think you're just jealous because your mom's dead. Elliot, don't be embarrassed. You're not the first person to give a patient an orgasm during a pelvic exam. No one cares. Please, I'm sure the two of you haven't stopped obsessing about it since the second it happened. Woman, we're professionals. Isn't that right, Dr. Dorian? 52. I'm sorry. What, what's up? What's happening with the other thing? That's great. Ellie, come on. I've never heard a woman make sounds like that. Oh, I'm sure you haven't. <laughs> See, it's funny because you've never really satisfied a woman. Well, you might want to double check with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> We told Rex we'd cover his shifts next weekend if he agreed to follow Hooch everywhere he went and never tell him why. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this one last time. Do you need anything? No, I'm cool. Hooch is crazy. I know, and the best part is, Rex doesn't know Hooch is crazy. Yeah, well, he'll know by the end of the day. burned me. You know what I would have done if it did? No. Burn for a burn, baby. That's in the Bible. Ah, which is crazy. Are you following me? Because I will cut you. I'll go around the corner. Check this out. Hooch is on the verge of a major meltdown. Why? Is Rex still following him? Not just Rex. Three other interns are following him, too. They're all after this fellowship. I said whoever sticks to him the longest, I'll give a recommendation. I'm about to use the toilet right now. So I hope you all are happy with the order that you're standing in. Because if you follow me in there, that is the order that I am going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Today's gonna be a good day. Yes, it is! As a doctor, you learn to use anything you can to keep a patient from getting hurt again. So, Mike, before we get you out of here, I think it's important we go over this one more time, okay? Even their own uh, home video. See, right about here is where you get hurt. <laughs> here you're not hurt. And then, oh, good God, hurt again. <laughs> not hurt. Hurt. <laughs> Baritone. Soprano. <laughs> Married with two kids. Dying. Look, oh. I, I get it, okay? Okay, okay, Mike. <laughs> That's all that matters. Victor. <laughs> Victoria. It's nice when things get back to normal. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Carla. You gotta try these sweet potato fries. They're amazing. Put some ketchup on it. You got it. Like I said before, small things can knock you on your ass. Whether it's realizing that nobody's afraid of you anymore. Good Lord. Or finding out that you have no idea how to deal with a teenage girl. Nice work. The important thing is to not make a scene in the cafeteria. Want another one? Ah! Turk! What? What? Were you gonna eat that? How about this? Let's all have fries, huh? Let's all have fries. You want fries? Sir, you said you were okay. My fries. Well, apparently I'm not okay, am I, Carla? Apparently I'm not. You know why? Because kisses just don't happen. They don't.
That it's somebody's fault, and I want to know whose. Huh? Get fried. Who gets to tell us the symptoms of Meniere's disease? Dr. Murphy, can you use it in a sentence? Ah, sorry to interrupt you there, Bobo, but I gotta ask you a quick question. Now, when you were born, nay, spawned by the Dark Prince himself, did that rat bastard forget to give you a hug before he sent you along your way? Because you can't just let two good nurses go on account of feeling small and insignificant. And besides, with your money, you ought to be able to keep a little man tucked away in the closet and bring him out whenever you want to knock him around, huh? As you were. Nothing, 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 nothing. I can see. Nothing, nothing. Dr. Cox. Work, I hate you, you suck. I know, but I've been trying harder lately. Barbie, talking to the computer, but nice self esteem. Hey, cowboy. How about you back off the little lady and we'll all agree that you're really, really scary. Listen there, Flowers. I know that your pink scrubs are balled up at the base of Barbie's bed three nights a week, and congrats on that, really. But if you're going to go ahead and have a showdown with everyone who hassles her, then, gosh, you two aren't going to have any time for that sweet Aryan sex that you love so much. Hit the bricks, Toehead. Come on, let's go. Why have we never fixed or replaced this monstrosity? You know the deal around here. If it barely works, it's not going to get replaced. Well, I guess that explains why your ass is still on the payroll, huh? Oh, somebody stop me! Well, here's what I want you to do. Stop getting worked up over, again, over small things. They're everywhere. The stuff that's making you goofy, it's all over. Stop that. And I'm out of here. Dear God. Here's your coffee, Dr. Cox. You want me to grab that, even though I suspect the reason that you're holding the handle is because the mug itself is scalding hot. Now, I sent you out to get me some Joe, not to give me a burn. Put the coffee down. Get out! Get out! Go! 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 Well, having this colleague of mine pointed out that I could also stand to gain a few pounds, and I don't want to be a hypocrite, so how about you and I do it together? Sure. He's got crazy eyes. I do. No, I'm okay with it. Oh, hey there. What do you get a load of this? They're giving me a teaching award tonight, so I'm going to need you to go ahead and holster up the twins as you'll be playing the role of arm candy. Yeah, I'm not going. If I want to hear someone go on and on about how great you are, I'll just listen to you during sex. I'm hearing the hate, but I'm not seeing the hate. You... Oh, my God. Did you Botox your face into an expressionless mask? Pedro called me ma'am. Ah, oh, damn it, Jordan. Come on. Now, you know I'm generally okay with you putting any poison you want into your body. But this is the first time I've ever won anything. It's not that bad. Really? Show me happy. Sad. Silly. Amused. Be amused. Seem amused. Show me angry. Superman. Extra hot tea for Ted. Aww, he didn't give you a cardboard sleeve. Still, don't rock the boat. You don't want people staring. Besides, how hot can it be? Holy mother of God! Huge mistake! Huge mistake! Just keep moving. No one saw that. Aww, Kelso. <laughs> Doctor's coming! What the? 
Frank, you idiot, your bed's down the hall. I know. I love you. Oh. You ever get the feeling our patients pretend to be sicker when we're around? Oh, yeah. You know Mrs. Wilson back there? She made her spleen pretend to rupture, and then she pretended to die. <laughs> Got me again there, Mrs. Wilson.